So I was a paralegal in the corporate team before I was offered a training contract. But from my research, I saw that Hill Dickinson specialised in a range of areas, including marine, health and business services. But I was particularly impressed by the number and range of deals that the corporate team had completed in areas such as natural resources and life sciences. During my training contract and when I was a paralegal in the corporate team, I worked on a range of deals. But I particularly enjoyed working on a deal that involved a microfinance company. Um, we helped them complete a listing and I was invited to the ceremony at the London Stock Exchange, which was very exciting. I was also drawn to Hill Dickinson because of its international presence. It has offices around the world, um, for example, in Singapore, Monaco and Hong Kong. And over the past few years, I've been able to work with colleagues in those different offices. So I studied law at the University of Reading and then I went on to study the LPC at the University of Law. After that, I was a major infrastructure paralegal at a different law firm before joining Hill Dickinson as a corporate paralegal. I feel that my paralegal experience really helped me understand how law firms work and gain really important skills such as how to manage my own workload. So law has always interested me because it involves a lot of different skills, such as teamwork and problem solving. I really enjoy working with other people, which is why the solicitor route is well suited to my personality. I chose corporate law because I've always found it very exciting. Every client has their own unique aims, whether it's completing a listing or an acquisition. I think it's very exciting to be able to be part of the journey. And you always get to pick up new knowledge as well in areas that you might not have ever come across before. A training contract normally takes two years to complete. Trainees are normally required to do four seats and spend six months in each seat. But if you have enough paralegal experience, you might be able to only do three seats and qualify sooner, which is what I've done. During my training contract, I received a lot of guidance and support from the various supervisors that I had. There was always someone around to ask questions and if I needed any help from anyone, everyone was always happy to help. Um, and there was always someone who would be able to point me in the right direction. I really enjoy being in the office, so I tend to go in every day. So I get in at around 8.45 and then I would check my emails and see if there's anything urgent that needs to be dealt with straight away. And then I would create a to-do list for the day. The work that I do depends on the matters that I'm on. So I could be drafting due diligence reports, agreements or attending calls. For lunch, I normally meet with other team members and we would sit in the kitchen together or we would go to Spitalfields Market, which is near the office, and buy lunch together. I tend to leave the office at around half six or seven, but it depends on whether we've got any urgent deadlines, client events or team socials. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we went to the Oval to watch the cricket with the clients and that was a great day out. I've learned that no question is a silly question. I've learned so much from just asking other members of the team questions, their thoughts and ideas on certain matters. I recently finished my training contract and qualified into the London corporate team. I would say do plenty of research on the law firms that interest you and try and tailor application forms. You can always go to law fairs, reach out to current trainees to just get an idea of the type of work that they do and just get a feel for the culture. And if you're not sure about which area you're interested in, you could try and gain some paralegal experience first. <laughs>